hip, modern, and classic. We live in a world of labels. Chic, elegant, historical. And in so many ways, those labels come along with expectations, definitions. Often what I've found, and the reason I called this book Beyond the Label, it's when you can go in and define yourself. It's opening the aperture, changing the frame in the way that you look at something to consider a different way. At a very young age, I realized that I had the ability to see and sense. It really happened when I was 16 and I went to France and my senses were kind of burst open. I could tap into that feeling. What does an image feel like to me? What kind of emotion does it evoke for me? And that would really help me make decisions. I think one of my first rules is observe. Observe the world around you, take it in. Look at the competition only to tell you what not to do. Ask questions. And the more provocative, the scarier the question, the better. Entertain the forbidden, which is in French, les interdits. All companies have cultures, they have rules. What's the other side of that? What if we tried it a different way? Be naive. You come across problems, issues. Take a perspective as if you've never approached that problem before. Using your gut, but checking your compass. It's nothing more than really opening your mind, opening your senses, connecting the dots, and then having a hunch and the confidence to go after it. Checking your compass is the moment that you say, maybe I'll validate that with some, with some data. This is a book for women and for men who don't want to play by the rules, but who want to learn the rules so that they can bend them. It's more of an invitation to the reader to learn about my story and maybe to think about his or her own story.